In this video, we compare Azure AD Connect Sync and Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. Azure AD Connect has been out for years and it's the way many organizations sync their Windows Active Directory domain services identities to Azure AD. Late last year, Microsoft came out with Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. In this video, we're going to compare the two for an understanding of the differences and when to use one over the other. Before that, please take a second to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. That supports this channel and is greatly appreciated. Let's get back to it. To make my life easier, I'll refer to Azure AD Connect Sync as AD Connect and Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync as just Cloud Sync. These two products do almost the same thing. They synchronize identities such as users and groups from a Windows AD domain to Azure AD, but they differ in the way they work and some of the features available. The first thing that stood out to me when I read about Cloud Sync, other than how similar the names of these two products are, was that the sync process takes place more frequently with Cloud Sync. The minimum time between a sync cycle in AD Connect is 30 minutes. With Azure AD Connect syncing every 30 minutes and Windows AD replication time factored in, a change to a user in Windows AD can take up to an hour to sync to Azure AD. With Cloud Sync, the sync happens every two minutes. This is quite an improvement over the 30 minutes of AD Connect. I'm not sure how a two minute sync will work in extremely large environments that have tens of thousands of objects, but more on that coming up. Let's take a look at how the two function. With AD Connect, there's an agent installed in the domain. This is a full agent with an option of using a SQL Server backend. There can only be one agent per Azure AD tenant. There's a staging option, but that's a standby server only. It's not an active active solution. AD Connect can handle multiple domains and forests, but has to have access to the resources in each forest. Since there can only be one AD Connect agent running per Azure AD tenant, the forests have to be connected with a trust relationship. If they weren't connected, the identities used by the agent wouldn't have the required rights in the forest to read the objects. So that means AD Connect has no active active high availability option and the source forest must be connected. With Cloud Sync, it uses one or more lightweight agents. These agents are installed locally, but managed in Azure. Multiple agents means that we have an active active solution when replicating to our Azure AD tenant. The ability to use multiple agents adds another benefit. The forests no longer need to be connected to replicate to Azure. We can have two disjointed domains replicating to a single Azure AD tenant. Think of what this means for like mergers and acquisitions. Syncing non-connected domains provides the ability for multiple organizations to access common Azure resources without any trust relationship between the forests. I know there's other options like guest access for that, but let's focus on AD Connect for now. Both offer a similar set of features. Let's go over where they differ. First, and this is a big one for many of you, Cloud Sync does not support replicating devices. That means Azure AD hybrid join is not an option. Cloud Sync does not support connecting LDAP directories, and it also doesn't support customer defined AD attributes or directory extensions. They both support password hash synchronization, but Cloud Sync does not support pass through authentication. Cloud Sync does not support password, device, group, or exchange hybrid right back. That means no self service password reset. And there are limits to the number of objects in the domain and the size of the groups replicated with Cloud Sync. You may think that rules out Cloud Sync for most large organizations, but before you rule it out, there's one more thing to consider. Cloud Sync can be used in tandem with AD Connect. For example, it could provide faster replication for objects such as users in Azure AD and provide high availability for password hash synchronization by adding another replication agent. So what does all this mean? Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync has a distinct set of features that makes it a consideration for any small to medium organization when looking for directory synchronization options or for organizations that need to bring in users from a disconnected domain, such as with mergers and acquisitions. It can also augment existing AD Connect implementations. Cloud Sync is not a replacement for AD Connect, however, and some of the limitations will prevent many medium and large organizations from using it as their primary identity replication solution. 
That brings us to the end. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.